Yep, by popular demand, returning, ladies and gentlemen, Mellow Thoughts, right here. Let's zen out, let's take it easy, nice and easy, Mellow Thoughts, colon, WWE, tables, ladders and chairs, 2016 pay-per-view, it was last night on the WWE Network, and uh, yeah, good show, really good show. <coughs> <coughs> Good show. Uh, a lot of good matches and stuff. There's only six matches, um, which is strange because it fills up, you know, the length of a pay-per-view if there were eight matches. But again, it's brand exclusive, isn't it? So they're not going to go overboard. Uh, really good show. It was from Dallas, Texas, the home of WrestleMania this year. So that was, you know, always kind of a bit of buzz there. Um, Orton and Wyatt won the tag titles, which is really cool. Nice to see uh, Bray Wyatt finally win a championship. Randy Orton is one of the best ever. Nikki Bella and Carmella had an okay match. Uh, then the Miz and Dolph Ziggler ladder match for the IC title wasn't as good as their No Mercy match because that No Mercy match was fucking great. This one was good. Good ladder match. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen here because I think Ziggler and, and Miz have had the feud of the year, in my opinion. Rivalry of the year. Um... Really good stuff. That, you know, along with, you know, AJ Styles versus Cena. But this one had the promos and the build-up and the time and more on the line, I guess. I still think their match at No Mercy should have been the main event. Just saying. Um, but yeah, they had a really good ladder match. Miz one, yeah, Miz one. And uh, yeah, who knows what's going to happen from here. I'm calling it now. I tweeted last night during TLC and I'm going to call it now. It's got to be, surely to God... It's got to be The Miz versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. It's got to be, man. The amount of times that <clears throat> Miz has done the, the Daniel Bryan stuff and then all, all the times, he's literally on Talking Smack every week and they're just shouting at each other and it's great stuff and they should be building to a match here. I mean, I I think Daniel Bryan's the best wrestler of this generation. Uh, he's one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. And uh, I would love to see him wrestle again. However, if you know his safety is in danger then obviously it's not the best idea but if we could see Daniel Bryan back in the ring that's a dream come true so uh, Bryan versus Miz at Wrestlemania 33 I'm calling it now um, but yeah good ladder match and then uh, an awesome cheers match between Baron Corbin and Kalisto that's something I didn't expect this is the match I was least looking forward to not a Baron Corbin fan you know Kalisto's fine he's good you know does some good flips and stuff but you know he's a bit whatever but, and then a chairs match is sort of a weird gimmick, you know, chairs match. But really good match, like, just, they took their time, they worked hard to make that concept look legit and make it work, and it did, it was really good, really good chairs match. Tables match, nice story told by Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch, nice to see Alexa win the title. Um, always liked her from NXT and stuff, loved the first couple of seconds of her theme song. Um, it was a good tables match, and then... In the main event, AJ Styles and Dean Ambrose in an amazing TLC match. Awesome. So good TLC match. Uh, Ambrose with the elbow drop from the ladder that was on the announce table. That's literally WWE 2K17 stuff. Never seen that before in, in live action wrestling. And then the 450 to the floor through the table. That's just classic AJ Styles. When he done that to Bully Ray at one of the Bound for Glories, I lost my mind. And then lost my mind last night when he done it again. And then the shocking finish with James Ellsworth turning heel. I'm just done with James Ellsworth. I've not... I just don't understand it. I've never been a fan. I don't get it. I understand he's a job guy and he's meant to be the, it's meant to be the comedy relief. But he's not a good job guy. He's not a good comic relief. He's not good at what he's there to do. So they're going to try and turn him heel. The key thing to do is to turn Ambrose heel because people are starting to boo him. Same with the New Day. People are starting to boo the New Day. Beat them to it sort of thing. Turn Roman heel. I don't know how long I've been saying that, but that's raw. And uh, and then and then turn AJ face because everyone's cheering AJ because he's the best wrestler on the fucking planet. He is. He's the best wrestler to grace our planet. Doesn't matter. I know there's other wrestlers on other planets, but in terms of this one right here, that we're on, AJ Styles is the best. He's legit on the same level as Shawn Michaels in terms of in ring work. The best of this generation. I just said that about Daniel Bryan, but hey ho, Daniel Bryan is on a talk show now. But yeah. Uh, awesome pay-per-view, awesome TLC match. I hate when 
there's a great match at TLC because then I need to reorganise my top 10 matches list. <laughs> I've been working on that recently and now I need to organise it again because AJ and Ambrose just made the list. Uh, yeah, good pay-per-view. I'm looking forward to Roadblock uh, on the 18th. But I think SmackDown's my favourite brand now, so cool to see them have a good show. TLC's always fun. Um, it's, TLC's like the, the winter edition of Money in the Bank sort of thing. Like sort of not one of the big four, but second level top tier. Um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, going to be bringing you a lot of countdowns this month. Just warning you, you know, reflecting on twenty sixteen this month and the January, lots of top tens. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, until next time, listen to the podcast. The good bit. We'll take a little break over Christmas, but we'll be back very soon. Uh, it's on iTunes. You can still listen to the back episodes. The good bit podcast, wrestling, movies, life, whatever. And my name is Chris Moffat. You can follow me on Twitter at cm42tv and subscribe if you want to see you next time have a fun apple eh that was very mellow wasn't it not really tlc thumbs up